So before I get started here, very quick uh, funny story or maybe not a funny story but an exhausting story. I had this video all ready to go. It was just a few minutes from going live and then emails started to roll in. This was after midnight and uh, basically I realized I had to do this video again and basically change a lot of information because because the stores, um, their online stores updated, sales changed around. So yeah, that was fun. But you know, I hope everybody appreciates the, uh, me taking the time to make sure that this video was as accurate as possible. I'm still gonna say this was re recorded as of November 22nd, even though it's technically the 23rd now. But um, you know, I won't have any information if anything does come out relating to the 23rd. This is pre-recorded, so do keep that in mind. And uh, yeah, I'm doing my best to try to make sure it's as accurate as possible for those of you that are going to either online shop or go out into the stores and shop. So let's go ahead and get into it. So this, I thought this was kind of interesting that Pop Price Guy decided to do their own uh, exclusive, not something official with Funko, but they went with this custom of X-23 and you see it's her in her um, X-Force outfit, which I think looks pretty cool. They only made 25 of them and they sold for $60 each. Which, if you're new to collecting, I know that sounds very pricey, but for a custom, that that's about on par with the way that uh, customs get priced. And um, I've seen the customs that went for much more than that. So it's just what you consider to be, you know, worth the the money, basically. And Pop Price Guide, you know, especially for new new collectors, if you are not familiar with that website, you should. Uh, go check out the website and I would go ahead and set up an account as well. It's a great way to keep track of your collection. They let you know the value of the figures, at least a ballpark, um, you know, estimated what the uh, figure is worth. And um, they generate a top 10 for you, what your top 10 most valuable pops are. And you can also create a want list and you could easily share that URL with friends uh, if they're, they, you know, like if you're working out trades or whatever it may be. So a lot of good things about Pop Price Guy. Definitely check them out if you haven't done so. So the beer is released and it did sell out, which is uh, no surprise there. And I'm really glad to hear, you know, some people contacted me. You let me know that my heads up uh, allowed you to get this figure and add it to your collection. So I'm definitely glad to hear that. I'm kind of surprised that the beer is turned out to be the same one that was re released before. I know they did this one before and there was a metallic version as well. Because they chose to um, hint at it in a silhouette, I thought it would be some sort of variant of Beerus. I did not expect the exact same figure, but regardless, you know, for people that weren't able to get it when it was out before and you got it now, you know, I'm definitely glad to hear that. And hopefully Funimation, the next time they have an exclusive, they will be better prepared with their website because I know a lot of people had issues with their website just, just basically not working properly, but hopefully they will work out the kinks. So as far as figures that are available now in some areas, uh, the Star Wars movie moments, I've been talking about those, you know, and I said uh, last time that I knew they were about to drop and uh, yeah, they are, they are in um, Walmarts and I would say look around for these and keep checking the website because uh, I don't think these would be really worth paying a, a hiked up price from somebody else, you know, um, just, just look around and uh, keep checking the website, like I said, because even if they're not online right now, they have all been listed at some point, and I think they will get listed again, and um, I think eventually these will spread around to more Walmart, so just be patient with those, do not pay some hiked up prices. Um, also here, the uh, gold R2D2 has released and uh, it's actually been up for a while now and it's still available at the time of this recording on the website. If you want that one, I would say go ahead and get it while it's just 20 bucks because honestly, I don't think it's worth more than that. I feel like this is like the BB-8 where they put the dome over it just to hide the fact that, um, you know, the materials they use are even less expensive than what they usually use for pop figures. So, um, and there was even a word um, from one of my patrons that said that, Hot Topic basically let people know that the head could come off in shipping. So that kind of tells you, you know, how well made that figure is. So again, I, I would say buy, if you're going to buy it, buy it right now while it's 20 bucks online. And I think that will be the price in store as well. But definitely don't wait and then end up paying like $10 more for it. I just don't think it's worth that. The uh, New Kingdom Heart figures are rolling out now as well. Um, there are two exclusive versions of Sora that are store exclusives, but you know the rest of the figures, you can find them at multiple stores. Hot Topic actually has them on their website. And do remember that there is a chase of Heartless as well, which uh, I think you do get a chance at the chase when you order with Hot Topic. So, I mean, you can check that out for yourself, but yeah, 
Um, if you're interested in those figures, go ahead and start looking for them. And then the Flock Crash Bandicoot, which is a GameStop exclusive, is up on their website as well. So if you missed out on these before, Atheon and Zor from Destiny, which these are both really well designed figures. Atheon should be taller, but regardless, he has great detailing, um, great sculpt. Um, both of these are available on Think Geek's website, so if you missed out on them with GameStop, you can get them from Think Geek because those stores are sister stores, and I think each run, each one runs around $12, I think, unless they have made a change with their Black Friday deals. I'm not really sure exactly what Think Geek has going on for Black Friday, but you can check that out. And then um, also, Box Lunch, I didn't really see anything new in on their website, but I do know that they have Pops uh, Buy 2, Get 1 Free. So um, yeah, you can check out and see if you maybe if you missed some of their exclusives in the past, you can go see what they have. Like I know they have um, Star Lord with headphones. Um, they got the black and white Woody. They got some other ones going on too, including um, some of the figures that they had for uh, SD, not SDCC, NYCC. So yeah, check that out. Also, Hot Topic has pops three for twenty five dollars, and um. That does include the Unmasked Scorpion, which I know some people are still looking for. It's online at the time of this recording. Also, their exclusive Crash Bandicoot was online at the time of this recording. And um, I definitely want to give a quick shout out to one of my subscribers, James Tree, who did send the Unmasked Scorpion to me. Very much appreciated. Thank you so much for that. That really is an awesome looking pop figure. I didn't do an unboxing video just because I've been so busy and it was just, you know, um, the one figure, but I do appreciate the kind words in your letter as well. So if you're watching, Dame, James, excuse me, thank you so much for that. So moving on here to Fugitive Toys, which I, I only know Fugitive Toys for their website, but they are actually, you know, um, store as well, um, store, you know, walk-in stores as well. And uh, they got a lot of good things going on for Black Friday, but I think you're going to have to be quick with these because I can see a lot of these figures going very quickly, such as V for Vendetta, only um, $25. And I say only because that that figure is tough to find and I don't think I've seen it listed below like forty five dollars before they also have some Funko HQ exclusives like Robot Freddy um, Seattle Freddy um, they got the Ghost Rider ride for fifteen bucks they got the Grady twins twenty dollars they got select chase pops for fifteen dollars which if it's pops like the Dogon chase then ugh, you know that's no good but you never know they might have some good ones as well so if you can get to fugitive toys or you know somebody that can, is going there you might want to you know work that out to see what you can get because they got a lot of great things going on not so sure about the website but i mean you could check that out for yourselves and see what they got um also here the unmasked flash which i've been hearing stories about people leaving that behind in theaters and some people i, I mean it's obvious this was going to happen that there were some people that would go to see the movie and not really care about the pop figure so that leads to me leads me to think that that won't be the most sought after a highly valued figure but regardless you know it's a cool figure so one way you can go about getting it is if you have a regal card you can actually use credits but it's a lot of credits 65,000. so i mean i thought that i would just share that just in case that does help anybody and then um also here with uh barnes and noble funko pops are buy one get one 50 off you know so i'm trying to share as many sales as i can with you all if i missed any though please make sure that you share them down in the comments because i mean there's a lot going on for black friday this weekend and everything so if i missed anything please share it in the comments so with the funko shop and really coming directly from funko here the funko shop if you order a uh, fifty dollars or more worth of figures then uh it's free shipping and and trust me with the funko shop that makes a big difference so you might want to check them out because they do have a lot of different figures going on it's not just five nights at freddy's they do have um rick and morty figures they got um sports figures going on just just a lot there are their exclusives of course so definitely make sure you check those out and they do have the new sagittarius freddy funko up as well so yeah definitely make sure you check out the funko shop see what they got going on and then a lot of people have been asking me about past subscription boxes from funko so they do have those for 15 dollars. i think that runs until the 27th i want to say so if that goes for the legion of collectors collector core and smugglers bounty i don't know if it applies to disney treasures i'd be really surprised if it does since that is a more recent box they just started but i mean you can check it out and see if anybody i knows any more about that definitely share in the comments as well so moving on here 
Hot Topic also does have some new Kingdom Hearts t-shirts up. I, I think they look pretty cool. They are the pop style art, which I know some people aren't crazy about. But, uh, you know, if you're into that, definitely make sure that you check them out. And I do believe the pricing varies along with the size. Then they have this other t-shirt, which I really do like. It's a Slippery Stair um, Rick and Morty t-shirt. So you see Rick and Morty on the snail. And I really like that. I believe that's from the Meeseeks episode where... Um, Rick and Morty had their kind of side adventure going on away from the family. So uh, again, that t-shirt it it's available, but it does vary pricing um, according to your size. Um, also with FYE, they are getting an exclusive Squanchy with rope, which is available for pre-order right now. You can actually pre-order it on the website. And they do have these 16 inch tall Rick and Morty plush figures, which I mean, that is 16 inch tall. That, that's a pretty tall plush figure. So maybe that explains the price. I won't even say the price, just go look for yourself and see how much they, they cost and I'll let you decide whether or not you think that's worth it. So back to the GameStop Black Friday boxes. This is the only link I'm going to put in the description this time and it really is because I don't want people to go and get the wrong box because when I looked at the website, the new box is not the first one that came up. So again, that's the only link I'm going to put down in the description this time and it's mainly to make sure that you all can order the correct box and not be confused on that. And um, you know, as far as the other things that I've been sharing, just I would just say check all the major retailers, look at their websites and see what they have going on. Um, but again here, yeah, each one of these figures, they do have a chase variant, um, all five of the figures. So of course you could get Joker or the... And they're all 8-bit figures, by the way, in case that wasn't obvious. But um, with Joker, the Chase variant is a metallic figure, so it looks the same, but you know it has metallic paint job instead. Raiden has a glow-in-the-dark Chase. Instead of Mega Man, you could get the uh, Magnet Missile 8-bit Mega Man. Uh, Ryu just has a color variant to him. And then Predator has a glow-in-the-dark Chase, which does look pretty different. So... Um, as far as the other items in the, these boxes, it seems like there could be a pair of socks. That's something I've been hearing. For, I heard that from more than one person at this point. A lanyard is obviously in there. I can actually read that and see that there is a lanyard up top and it does have the little figure along with it, which is cool. Um, I don't know if there's going to be any more to the box than that. I would hope so, but the, um, the sales paper said three collectible items. Now, if socks are in there, I don't really consider socks to be a collectible, so... I don't know how that's going to work out, but we'll find out soon enough because I'm pretty sure there's going to be videos of these boxes all over YouTube in no time here. So, um, yeah, if you want to get these boxes and you can't make it to the store, like I said, I will put the link down below. Please be careful. Make sure that you get the right box. And um, as a matter of fact, I might try to remember to put an image of that box somewhere within this video. So moving on here, last time I shared the black and blue Batman Mini Hikari 2-pack. And they have a, another one of those here. They have the gold and black two pack. Now the black does look different in the, um, the new one that they just revealed. I think it is darker, whereas the black and the black and blue two pack is a more transparent. So that's a little bit of a difference there. Um, each of these two packs is 2,500 pieces each. Um, I would check with online retailers, and I'm not the major retailers, but check with some other ones and see if you can find these listed. I don't think I've seen them listed at this point, but um, just look around and you might be able to find them. If anybody has seen these online, definitely share that information down below. You know, let's help each other out, basically. So the Spider-Man figure that I shared last time, I... I asked people uh, if you noticed any difference in the images, and I had people saying one was maybe made metallic. I think somebody said one of them had a different book. Um, I, I think when you're trying to look for certain things, you, you just start to see things there that aren't there because as far as I can tell, it is just one figure here. And I don't think there was any trickery with the, the picture. So that actual um, Spider-Man figure, it comes along with this gift set. Um, they're, they're calling it a gift set, the Spider-Man um, Homecoming gift set, which um, I got to say is just amazing value. And I, of course, I'm not endorsed in any way to, to say that, but um, this is just $35. And you get the, the movie, of course, you get the Blu-ray plus DVD plus digital copy of Spider-Man Homecoming. You get the pop figure, you get two pairs of socks, you get what looks to be a comic book. I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, and also a pen as well, I think. So... That's pretty amazing value in my opinion and you can pre-order this right now on Walmart's website. I think it has a December 5th release is what it's saying. Um, I'm not sure if that applies for in-store as well or if that's when it ships out. Not exactly 100% sure how that works but regardless, 
this is pretty good value, especially if you are a big fan of that movie. So hopefully I'll say the name correctly here because I don't really follow the NBA that much. I'm, I'm pretty much all about mixed martial arts, UFC. That's really my main sport that I follow. But I think the name is Joel Embiid and I'll also here Gordon Hayward. These two basketball players now have pop figures and they actually are available right now. They're not exclusive. So, you know, just look around and you should be able to find these fellas here. So the movie Ready, Ready Player One, the upcoming movie, which I know is based on the best best selling book, they actually have a lot of characters coming out based off of that movie. I'm not super familiar with um, that material at all, to be honest. I know that the figures are listed on a GameStop list. I'm just going to basically wait until there's more information. And then, you know, once that rolls out, hopefully there'll be some images soon or at least some concept art or something, something more solid that I can share with you all. But I'll just say, if you're going to be out and about and you're going to GameStop anyway, you might want to kind of peruse a list if you actually are familiar with the material and check that out. But um, like I said, I'm just going to wait till there's something more concrete there. Now, I know a lot of people have been saying they really want pops from, you know, based off of Bendy and the Ink Machine. So rejoice, Bendy with Wrench is on the way and he will be a GameStop exclusive, which that's not really a surprise. You know, it makes sense for a game character to be a GameStop exclusive. That's all that I know at this point. If I learn any more, of course, I will update you all. So Contest of Champions is a mobile game. I actually did play this for a while and I felt like I kind of hit a wall where I guess they wanted me to pay money and I was like, eh, not not really. But they've been steadily um, ask, excuse me, adding characters to this game. Some really interesting characters. So you see here, the most obvious one that jumps out at you is this Venom Pool figure. That's actually Venom Pool holding a phone. I'm really glad that they made this figure just because the Venom Pool that was exclusive to Pop in a Box is one I'll probably never have. I don't deal with that company. Um, I think they have way too many issues with their shipping. Even their own exclusive, they shipped it out with damage on a lot of them. So not cool in my in my book there. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to picking up this Venom Pool. And there, there's a chance that there might be more than one version because I know this one here is a GameStop exclusive. But I think there's a possibility there might be more than one version because more than one has been spotted on a list. And then the other characters that were listed don't actually have images of the pops yet. But the other characters that have been listed are King Groot, which is a very beefed up looking version of Groot. Um, also Civil Warrior, which is obviously a mashup between um, Captain America and Iron Man. Guillotine, I'm not familiar with that character at all, but I do like that design there. And then Howard the Duck, I'm really interested to see how that pop figure turns out. Um, I'm really happy with the game reverse line thus far. I think there's a lot of potential there. And if, if you know if it's giving us more interesting Marvel designs, um, I'm all for that. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to see what else they do with this line and how these figures turn out. Definitely let me know what you think about these. And of course, as I get better images to share with you all and more images to share with you all, I will keep you all updated. So we do have a rumor mill here and it's strictly Stranger Things focused this time, except, oh, let me correct myself. There is one other thing that I will get to, but you'll see it here in a moment. So Bob, looks like Bob could be on the way. This is very much a rumor though, because an, an artist made this, uh, or, well, drew up this version of Bob as a pop figure and then Funko retweeted it. So that's all there is <laughs> thus far but just the fact that they retweeted it you know it makes it seem like maybe they are considering doing it and I'm, I'm sure they're hearing it from a lot of people that we would like bob so I, I wouldn't be surprised if that figure does get made but again gotta treat that like a rumor right now because that's all there is to it and then barb is getting an 8-bit figure apparently um as a gamestop exclusive and this will be an emerald city comic con shared exclusive so this, this is so early from that that Comic Con that this is why I gotta treat this like a rumor, even though it seems like this could possibly be pre-ordered right now. And really, I would like somebody to confirm that for me. That's something I'm not 100% sure. You know, that's the word online, but like, you know, if one of my subscribers could check that out and let me know for sure, it, can you actually pre-order this figure? Because that seems mighty early to pre-order a Comic Con shared exclusive. That's why I'm kind of skeptical, but. You know, it seems like it could be on board for um, a March 1st release. And again, check with GameStop. And if anybody learns more about it, please do share it down in the comments. Remember, again, we help each other out. So um, 
Padme Amidala. I said this before that she's supposed to be getting a, a new pop figure based off of, uh, I guess, one of her Naboo outfits, which she wore so many outfits in those movies. There's really no telling what she will wear, um, what, uh, what outfit she'll have on for the next pop figure. But this is another one that is possible as a GameStop exclusive and a, a Emerald City Comic Con shared exclusive. So... You know, I feel like it's, it seems way too early for this information to really be solid. That's why I'm a little skeptical, but I'm sure we will learn soon enough. And I, I kind of feel like because this is a Comic-Con that takes base, takes place, excuse me, um, on, Hunk, on Funko's home base. <laughs> excuse me, I'm, all, I'm tripping all over my words there. But uh, yeah, because this uh, really takes place in Funko's backyard, I think they will probably do a lot more for the con this upcoming year because they have been stepping it up with conventions. So we will see. So that is it for Funko News, and you can hear from the way I'm tripping over my words, it is definitely time for me to get some sleep. I uh, did not expect to be up this long, but when I saw all those emails rolling in and saw how the sites were changing, like I said, I realized I needed to make some changes just to keep you all um, you know, as up to date as possible, especially for those of you that are getting out and shopping. So really do hope you appreciate that. If you haven't done so already, please make sure that you uh, drop a like on the video. and. Um, you see here that I did make sure that I had a, a image of the Funko box. I made, you know, I put it in my mind to make sure that I added to this last screen here. So that is what the box looks like. Make sure that you are getting the correct one. Um, and good luck, you know, with getting the Chase figures as well. I gotta wait um, uh, probably a week or so until I can get them. I hope they don't hike the price up too fast. But um. Because I did go ahead and invest in a camera for my channel, which I, I was definitely glad to do because I really do want to step up my quality. But because of that, I'm going to have to wait on the box, which is fine, you know, but uh, I'm looking forward to seeing other people's unboxing and seeing how people, you know, how lucky they are with it and finally seeing exactly what is inside of these boxes. So that's going to be pretty exciting regardless. But again, um, you know, thank you to everybody for checking out the video and being understanding hopefully of why the video is late um definitely a big shout out to my patrons as always oh and before i forget if you have not checked out my last two videos please make sure that you do so i did a video about nickelodeon funko pops i would like to see made and i also did my full collection video which a lot of people were asking for so please check those videos videos out they were a lot of work but i had fun doing them so yeah i, I would really appreciate as much feedback as possible on those but that's going to do it for now. Everybody, please be safe. Have a great holiday. Enjoy your friends. Enjoy your family. Take care of yourselves. Have a good time hunting. You know, hope you have some nice finds. And like I said, people picking up those boxes. I hope you uh, have some good luck there. Um, but I need some sleep. So I will uh, talk to you all again real soon.